Welcome into my, well, it's a green screen, but we're pretending to be <laughs> in New York, Carl and It I. looks great. <laughs> one day, one day, uh, when all my savings <laughs> come, come through, right? And uh, if this is your first time watching one of these Easy Future videos, my name is Graham Codrington, and I'm interested in the future and the future of pretty much everything and anything. Uh, but in particular, Carl and I are going to chat about the future of investing. And each time, because whenever Carl and I get together, we do uh, indulge just a little bit, we're going to open a bottle of wine as well, this time champagne, uh, and just talk about that too. If that doesn't interest you, you can skip the last few minutes of each <laughs> video. But the reason we chose champagne is we wanted to have a conversation about retirement. So congratulations, your working you've, made life, <laughs> you've made it, your working life is over, um, and you can celebrate that. The problem is that the future of retirement is that retirement is not going to be what our parents and our grandparents had. Uh, the main reason is we are living longer and we, the way retirement has been set up in our world is that we're not going to have enough mm. money to live the years uh, that we're going to live. And <laughs> the last thing you want to do is outlive your money. Mm. You, you shouldn't live longer than your money by even a few hours, mm. let alone a few years or mm. decades. But you've been in the retirement industry for decades. I mean, in the sense of helping people to save for it and insuring against uh, things like that. How do you see the future of retirement going? Yeah, you know, Graham, I mean, it's fascinating for me because it's such an outdated concept. And also to decide that there's True. an arbitrary age that you now retire, you know, 60. Uh, I have a father who's 84 and is still working full time. I also know very few people who can retire even now True. and so for me it's this there are a lot of old style products in this in this industry and the way that I like to think about retirement and how it's changed is it's saving to give you flexibility it's saving mm, to I give like you it. options so it's not saving that you suddenly come on one random date in the calendar you suddenly come to a crashing end. you go from a hundred percent income exactly. to zero but you're saving so that in later life you've got more options. Exactly, and later life for some of us might mean when we're 40, for others when we're 80. It gives you choice and it gives you flexibility. Yes. And I suppose in the context of South Africa, it also gives you options to help others mm. as well, right? A absolutely. And that's part of what uh, Easy Equities is also trying to do, right? Mm. It's not just for the rich and famous to invest their millions. Mm. Uh, my understanding is that when you left your previous world in the insurance industry, you deliberately went out to create a system that would bring more people mm. into the idea of saving for flexibility mm. later in life. 100% and it's one of the big attractions for me is that there's such a values match from what, what I like and, and Charles who's the founder of Easy Equities, his vision for it. And so whilst we, we have the millionaires and the billionaires on the platform, w as a country and as a world, and you and I have spoken about this, we can't be successful as individuals, we've got to be yeah. successful as a society. And so you know, Easy Equities really aims to give everybody an opportunity to achieve what we call financial dignity. And it links back to the freedom. Mm. Um, it doesn't matter whether you're able to invest the 50 rand or the 50 million rand, you need to have a sense of dignity, a sense of purpose, and a, and a platform that treats that with respect. Um, so yeah, you're right, it's creating opportunities for people. And it's, it's never too late to start, right? So if you later on in your life and you think, ooh, I maybe haven't done enough, Sure, you might not then be able to go gardening, golfing and fishing mm. at the age of 65, mm. but it's never too late to start. Is it too early to start mm. ever? Absolutely not. I mean, there's this often quoted thing about Warren Buffett who said he started too late, and I think he started when he was 11. <laughs> um, we've got uh, many kids on the platform who um, are actively investing, but kids also who their parents open accounts for. Um, we've got kids that are teenagers, their parents open tax-free savings accounts for them, and they're going to be millionaires when they're 21. Now imagine if you and I had 20, uh, when we were 21, you had a million rand or more. Yeah. I mean that changes. Flexibility, f like from the day you graduate or whatever. It changes yeah. your whole life. Now that yeah. sounds like that's extraordinary. It's not extraordinary. There are many clients on the platform that have done that. Wow. And so the starting too late is interesting because it's a little bit like, um, like weight loss. You know, oh, you know, I'm going to start dieting. The longer you put it off, the worse it becomes. Yeah. But it's never too late to give yourself that benefit, whether it is the weight loss, whether it is investing. Um, and what I found through the you know, many years that we've been running Easy Equity is that people use excuses, don't have enough money, I don't have enough knowledge, I don't have enough this. Don't. None of those are, are valid reasons on this platform. So you can start. 
whether you've got the million rand, whether you've got the ten rand. Um, so short answer, it's never too too late and uh, it's never too early. And the earlier you start, the earlier you get your kids to start. Give gifts to your God kids. Uh, talk mm. to the young children in your life. It is honestly the best gift that you can give these kids because they will have flexibility. So quick summary then of our first conversation, and there are going to be more, is that congratulations, your retirement can start today. Um, because uh, in fact, retirement is an outdated concept. Uh, wrong question even to start with. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, there yes. is no retirement, there's just flexibility. Exactly. And try and get that flexibility into your life as soon as possible. Okay, tell me about the champagne. So I'm a big fan of champagne and sparkling wine. South Africa is a rich tradition, tradition of, uh, of sparkling wine. Uh, this is my favorite champagne. Uh, it's uh, Paul Roger. And I like mm. them. They're, they're small, um, but a lot of it is still done by hand. For instance, the Riddlers, the guys that turn the bottles, one of the very few places that still you know, have guys that do that by hand. Nice. Um, and uh, there are there wonderful stories around uh, old Churchill drinking this, uh, mates of mine from Great Domains imported into South Africa. Um, Oh, and it is. It's just a celebratory drink. Um, but now, before we carry on about the champagne, you must tell me about the glasses. Yes. So there are two ways to drink champagne, if you're going to be a little bit pretentious and do it properly. And <laughs> both Carl and I are both very pretentious about our wine drinking and like to pretend to do it properly. You can either have it in a glass which shows off uh, the champagne. And these flute glasses um, the, the bubbles arise, and if it's a good champagne, thank you for bringing a good <laughs> champagne, the bubbles rise in a perfect stream up the middle uh, from the bottom of the flute glass. So that shows off the champagne and people like that. But if you actually want to enjoy the taste of a champagne, you need to have an open glass because as you drink it, drink another glass so I can show people, your nose is right in the middle and you get this aroma hitting you mm. in, in the and it really does add to the flavor and we're going to talk about wine glasses and shapes of wine glasses as we have each of the wines in this video series because it really makes a difference so we've broken a little bit of a, a myth or fallacy that retirement is is one thing it's actually something completely different and since you are one of my most intelligent friends and uh, the fount of much knowledge is it true that this was modeled on Marie Antoinette's breast? It is. That okay. is her breast size. This is fantastic. So <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Maybe you didn't expect us to end on that piece of information. Happy retirement. Enjoy.